Mark J. Larson Outdoors here. Um, right now I'm working on a a, beat, a badger um, rug. I just wanted to show this to you. I didn't show the skinning part of it, but uh, I skinned it with the claws still in it on the front and the back. Where I'm at right now is uh, I skinned it flushed it, I put it in salt, um, same steps as what I started out with on my fox tanning videos, put it in salt once, I flushed that off last night, it's in the salt for the second time, so this is going to be flushed off, and then uh, we're going to go to the salt bath today, and then uh, tomorrow I'll lay it out. And let it uh, start to dry and start stretching and put the tanning solution on it and get it broke. Then I'm going to put a, a felt backing on it. Just wanted to show you what I'm working on. And I'll, I'll bring you back and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done. I mean it's, it's, it's really looking nice. I, didn't, I wasn't sure. I've never skinned a badger. But I'll tell you what. It was the first time I've ever flushed one too. And they are grisly. They are tough. I mean, it's about like, I've heard people say how tough an otter is, which I've never done. But this thing was tough to flesh, man. It's just gristle. And then over here, I got a coon hanging up. I flushed it last night, and it, it sat and sawed all night. So I'm going to flush this out, and then uh, be finishing that one. So then after I get all this done, I still got eight coyotes in the freezer to uh, tan but we're getting through them getting the freezer cleaned out and getting everything done and I can't wait to show this to you when it's done it's the first time I've ever done something like this and I mean these claws are just just cool I mean this is a these these badgers are cool just beautiful markings on it. I mean it's hard to tell right now because uh, it's in salt but once it's all cleaned up and dried and everything oh man it's gonna look really nice I think so I'll bring you back when I'm uh, about done with it, and uh, appreciate you watching. Thanks for watching. I just want to show you where I'm at on this badger and this uh, raccoon hide. Um, this badger's turning out really nice. Looks beautiful. It's just really cool. I've never done one before, and they're just a cool-looking critter. I mean, the hair is so thick on them. I mean, you can just tell how how much that's going to stand out. It's not completely dry yet. I just put it through, I just washed it after it came out of the salt bath and let it hang overnight. And I'm just getting off work. Still got the claws on it. It's going to look really cool when I get this done with this rug. Um, I'm going to lay it out here. I just wanted to show you the fur on it real quick here. I mean just, I mean just, it's so long. I couldn't, I can't believe it. Once this is dry and this is stood up, it's going to be really long. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this out, the claws up, and I'll show you this here in a second. Get it all stretched out here for the most part here. Now you can see where I'm at here. Um, get the head off skinned out really good and and the claws so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on these claws yet but I will show you when I'm done I've, I'm thinking about maybe putting a really light piece of um, plywood under here like really thin or something like heavy cardboard and maybe filling these with epoxy or something just to hold these claws straight before I put the the felt backing on it you know but I mean the back, the back paws are the same way. They still got the claws. The claws just ain't near as long on the back. So, just wanted to show you where I'm at. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna lay this out skin side up and let it start to dry, and then I can start stretching it. And then, then I'll put the tanning solution on it. And then uh, I'll fold it skin on skin like I did with the fox. And uh, then. I'll I'll, unho I'll undo it, let it dry, then I'll start stretching it and I'll break it. I'm not going to break this one quite as much because it's going to be have a felt backing and it's going to go on a wall, so I don't want it real super 
soft and thin. Plus, I think I'm going to put some something thicker in the end of the paws. But um, it's just going to it's going to be a trial here because I've never done it. But um, we'll get there, and I'll show you when it's done. It's going to going to look pretty cool, I think. It's going to be a good good part to my collection here. I mean, I I didn't I don't have one yet, so. Everything's going good so far, and uh, I'll bring you back when I start working on it and start getting that done, but get the felt on it, and it's going to look really cool, I think. So, thanks for watching. I'll be back, and when I get going on this, and when, I, when I'm about done, I'll, I'll just bring you back and show you the finished product. Thanks for watching. I wanted to show you where I'm at here. I uh, tacked this badger all out. I got everything tacked out. Get out of the shadow there. Got the paws tacked out. Got the front paws tacked out with the claws where I want them. Letting it dry. Got everything tacked all the way around it. So I want it, it's going to start drying. I just wanted to tack it out so it it wouldn't start to shrink up a little bit. But as soon as it gets a little bit drier, then I'll put the uh, tanning solution on it and uh, fold it skin on skin. I just wanted to show this part of me having it tacked out. I mean you can see the legs are starting to dry up a little bit now which is good and uh, a little bit on the head there but um, this back is pretty thick but it's starting to dry up. Put the tanning solution on here in a little bit and uh, untack it, fold it skin on skin and then when I uh, after it sets in that for 12 hours I'll fold it back out and then I'll tack it back out again and then I'll let it dry and start stretching it. So I just wanted to show you this little part. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, we're back here with the beaver rug or the badger rug. I'm sorry that I'm making. What I did here, I just want to show you this before I put the felt on the back. I took some of the black felt because there was a few little nicks in the in the legs and everything. So I glued this fabric, the felt onto it. So because the back of the legs are black anyway, and so that way, because the red's going to go on first, and then uh, I just didn't want the red to show through if there was any little bitty nicks or whatever. There was one here where it's a light colored, so I took some deer hide that I had tanned a long time ago, and I glued that on there because that's a light color under there. That's just a, like a scuff mark there because this was a roadkill. But uh, I just wanted to show you that, and I wanted to show you this glue that I'm using. It's called Instant Fabric and Leather Adhesive. It's, if you can read that, it's for everything clothing, leather, upholstery. It's for fixing your clothes. My brother had some and he showed it to me. Then when I went to buy the felt, I seen it in the store. It's called uh, Tear Mender. And I'll tell you what, this is really nice. It works really good. I mean, I, I glued this leather onto here and it's not going anywhere. This felt's not going anywhere. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bead around the entire hide and lay it onto the red felt before I even cut it. That way it'll be, it'll be uh, glued to the felt and then I'll uh, go ahead and put a few stitches in like at the end of the paws between the claws and a few stitches every so often. That way I don't have to glue or uh, stitch all the way around this. But I think this is going to be a game changer. If you ever need anything to glue any leather, get this because it, it really works. So I'll be back with the finished product when I'm when I get it done. It should be here pretty soon, and uh, it's going to look beautiful. I mean, this hide just looks just looks amazing. I mean, it's beautiful. So I'll be back when I'm done, and uh, can't wait to show it to you. Finally back here, finally got this badger rug done. It looks really nice. Um, just the fur turned out really nice. This, I put the felt backing on it. I glued it to the red and stitched it all the way around about every two or three inches. Stitched in between each claw. And then uh, the red to the black, I used a spray adhesive to get it stuck to it. I'm going to go underneath of here and stitch through the through both legs and put a ring on the back to hang it. But other than that, I just wanted to show you this. I mean, it, it just turned out just super. I 
And yeah, I couldn't be happier. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And uh, I'm glad everybody gets to see this. I hope they appreciate it because I got a lot of time in this. And if you like this video, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get the rest of my videos. I got some other tanning videos. Um, the steps on this were similar exactly like I did with my two fox tanning videos. So if you want to know how to do that, um, everything else is I pretty much videoed and showed step by step is how I went. So really appreciate you watching. Thanks for your support, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.